Hello and welcome back to the part two of the video on converting the data from rows into columns. So in part one, we discussed how we can use the case statement for achieving this objective. And now we're going to discuss the separate function that we have in SQL, which is the pivot function. So let's get started. So again, we are using the same data from the EMP table or the employee data. And we have three distinct columns, as you can see here, name, value, and ID. And we want to create distinct columns in our output. And each column should be should have the name of any of these field values which is name gender and salary so we are going to use the pivot function for this solution okay so the first step is to select the data from your source table which you need for pivoting or converting from rows to columns so we want all these columns we need the id in our output we want to uh, take the name field values as a column name so name we want and we also want the value column because that has the actual values and this we want from dbo.amp table so you need all this data now we are just going to put this statement in a bracket and create this separately as a source table so let's call it the source table and now we use this key function which is called pivot so we use this function and next what you need to do again create your brackets and now we want the values the values have to be anything in this column of value and we need to apply an aggregate function as we need it to do in a case statement because we want the result to come as a single record and the safest function to apply for string values is max so i'm going to apply the max function over here max on whatever we have in the value column and this max value we are going to select for the field values name gender and salary so the way you need to write this is max value for name which is your column name in this table in and then you put the values so put your brackets and those values you have to put within square brackets so your values are name then you have gender and you have salary over here and define this as your pivot table. Now there's some other modification that we need to make for the statement right now and that is because we have the column name in the existing dbo.am table as name and we also have a value by the same name. It's going to create some confusion for this pivot statement so we have to change the column name. We have to give it an alias. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to name, give an alias to name as ename. So something called employee name or something of that sort and then here oh, let's make the and has caps okay and here we are going to use the same alias so that the confusion is not created and we can execute this statement okay so we are missing one bracket over here closing bracket over here so let's put the bracket over here and now we have this pivot table created as well and now on top of this we are going to write a select query and which is going to pivot the data using this function so select we want the id column as it is and now what we want is the you have to put the distinct column names that you want in the output which are going to be again your name your gender and your salary from so this is the way you have to frame your statement if you execute this query you will get the desired output so this is how you can use the pivot statement or pivot function over here again you just in the first step select your data which you need for pivoting from your base table then you define the pivot function you define the aggregate on the values that you want to show right these are the values and then you define your column names that you want in the output within square brackets so these are going to be your column names and define all that within a pivot table and then just write a select statement on top of that table and that select statement would actually contain the column names that you want in your output